Hi everyone, I'm Arbaziri and welcome to Rebel Galaxy. So, Rebel Galaxy is an open world sandbox space game. And if you're old like me and remember games such as Freelancer or Privateer, it's kind of like that. But it definitely has its own style. And what's interesting about this game is the company behind it, which is basically two people. One of the people behind it is Eric Schaefer, who was a game designer of Diablo 1, Diablo 2 and Torchlight 1 and Torchlight 2, which for me promises a good combat feel. I did play the game for an hour or two just to familiarize myself with it and combat definitely feels pretty damn good. So we are going to start a new game. And we will start with an intro, which is pretty Six short, but it gives you the basic story. Message from your aunt Juno, the family black sheep who you haven't seen or heard from in over ten years. The message provided the access codes to the Rasputin, a near derelict spacecraft and a relic of her younger days. Also included were the coordinates to Rust City, an out of the way space station with a questionable reputation. She practically begged you to meet her there as quickly as possible. Now, after several days of travel and a few unscheduled maintenance stops, you have at last arrived. This is a place of liars, thieves. You wonder how you let yourself get dragged to such a godforsaken backwater. And that's Rebel Galaxy. That's the basic story in a nutshell. But this is a sandbox game. You can follow the story, but you don't have to. You can do your own thing. Alright, so at the start... Hold that thought. Alright, so I'm not going to read all of this, since it's kind of voiced over, but it's not. I let the guy talk and just read my replies. So, who are you? I see. Well, I guess I'll see you after I dog. See you soon. So, welcome to Rebel Galaxy. I already know how to control the game, but feel free to read this if you want to. Alright, first of all, we have to dog. So, let's do exactly that. Just need to be a little bit closer. And the interesting part about the game is that it is randomly generated. So this is different every single time. This was very different on my first attempt. We can also look at the sector map and this is also randomly generated. This was completely different on my first try. Alright, let's dock. So here we are. Now our equipment is very, very basic. We do have some money, but not a whole lot. We'll probably want to buy something. But first of all, let's talk with the guy. So where is my aunt? She was supposed to meet me here. He doesn't know, eh? Why do you say that? What is it? Maybe it will tell me how to find her. Can I see it? Well, we got something. What do you mean? Yeah, as I mentioned, our equipment is very, very basic. We'll have to upgrade our ship a bit. Any suggestions? Alright, so he can give us an upgrade if we do something for him. We can refuse, but we'll accept. So we have to deliver a shipment. And we'll get 500 credits for the payoff. And then we'll get paid for the job. Alright, sounds good. Now, we could hire a mercenary, but we don't have enough money for that just yet. I'll probably grab this guy early on. Not even for his firepower, but it's nice to have someone the AI will shoot at. <laughs> someone other than us. He's going to be our mid shield, but yeah, once we get more money. Can we buy something? Let's go to the shipyard. 
No, not the shipyard, that's where we buy new ships. And the new ships are pretty damn expensive, as you can see. 4 million credits for the top one. Yep, we won't be buying that for a while. Equipment bay is what we need. Alright, we could buy a secondary weapon. If we had more money, which we currently don't. We could buy a turret. Let's do that. Yep. So turrets are usually automated, but you can take over and control them yourself. I think we're done here. We can check the mission board. Check available missions. These are also randomly generated, as you might have guessed by now. Let's see. Very low. Reward. 1100. Delivered some stuff. Okay. Actually, no, that's distance. We'll get 1900 credits. 2800 and average risk. We could do that. What else do we have here? Average risk again, 3200. Yeah, that's not bad. 2200 for a low risk mission. I like this one. Let's accept that one. And I think that's enough for now. We'll do the mission for the guy. For the ugly tentacle face guy. <laughs> and then we'll see. And then we'll upgrade some of our basic stuff. Alright, so the waypoint is this way. We can also pick the closest mission. We can pick the closest station. Looks like that one is the closest mission. First of all, we have to go faster. And use warp speed. But first we have to get out of the docking range of the station. That's our primary mission, so that's where we're going. You will also sometimes get missions kind of on the way. You might detect distress signal or things like that. Also, going too close to the planet is generally a bad idea. Because they do have a gravitational pull. Going too close can be pretty bad. Alright, we'll use warp speed. I have no idea what kind of distance you need SM is. <laughs> it's something. That's it. It's 500 somethings. Sounds legit. That's my version. We probably want to avoid that. I don't necessarily want to go through that. Did we go too far? Yeah, sometimes warp disengages automatically, but we actually went a little bit too far to the side. So it didn't. This is going to be very straightforward, but we will get a few different options with this guy. I played the game for like one hour and that's it. Alright, here we are. So I know like the first two or three primary missions, but that's about it. I don't know anything else. The primary missions are always the same. Everything else is procedurally generated. Alright. So, first we should do a scan. Every time you arrive at a new location, it's generally a good idea to do a scan. Because that will show you various points of interest. Let's go a little bit closer. And we got incoming hail. So, we can give him the cash. We can also keep the cash. Or we can say that he's looking for someone else. So let's just play nice and give him the cash. It's fine. And now we have to make a delivery. Right here. Let's go. And maybe we can do the other mission on the way. We'll see. We'll check how far away the other one is once we're done with this part. I just want some money for basic equipment. And I want to hire that mercenary guy. He can be quite useful. Not only he actually has decent firepower, it gives your enemies something else to shoot at, other than you. Which can be good for your health. Yeah, what are the odds of successfully navigating through an asteroid field? Apparently pretty high in this case. Yes, let's go. We don't want to stay here. Engage warp speed. We are pretty much almost there. The game does have pretty good music, but I had to disable it because YouTube, you know. <laughs> Unfortunate, but that's how it is. 
that's how it has to be. Let's not crash into a planet. That's pretty bad for our health. And here we are. He will give us an upgrade. For free. Sort of for free, we had to do a job for him first. Alright, we got 10,000 credits. Which is a lot more than we had. So, we can take a deflector or a tractor beam. Tractor beam is required to pick things up, and a deflector shield is exactly that. It's a shield that you can activate. So, if something fires missiles at you, you can manually activate the deflector shield. It doesn't work automatically, you have to press spacebar to actually activate it. And you can't fire while using the deflector shield. We'll take the deflector because, you know, not being dead is usually pretty good for your health. So, what about my aunt? Yeah, tell me about it, I suppose. He wants out of the favor. It's a simple matter. Yeah, that's what they all say. I guess I can do that. So, destroy a few containers. We can do that. Doesn't sound very complicated. Alright, now we can hire this guy. I might be. Aren't you a little old to be a mercenary? Just asking. What sort of ship do you fly? One of those military grade Durham gunships. She's fast and she's mean and she's reliable. Good to know. Well, you convinced me. You're hired. Working with you, kid. Let's blow this joint. You bet. All right, we got over nine thousand credits left. That should be enough for an upgrade or two. I don't want to go too crazy with upgrades right away, but we can buy something. We can buy a flag cannon. We can also buy Dumbfire Launcher. No homing capability. Yeah, these are decent to deal with capital ships, but I don't think we'll be taking on a lot of capital ships at the start. Let's grab flag cannon. Effective against fighters and incoming missiles. Useless against capital ships. I'm okay with that. As I said, I don't think we'll be taking on a lot of capital ships. <laughs> because our ship is flying junk, basically. A little bit more than flying junk at this point. That leaves us with just under 7,000. I think that's fine. We can buy some components. We could just buy a tractor beam right now. How expensive is that? Yeah, let's buy a tractor beam because we're going to need one anyway. The deflector shield and the tractor beam are worth exactly the same from what I checked. So if you want both, it doesn't really matter which one you're going to take from the guy if you plan to buy the other one ASAP. Alright, I'll keep my remaining credits because we'll need some money for actual repairs. We don't really need repairs right now, but we'll need repairs after combat. Actually, we should have checked missions. We can pick up a few more missions. Alright, mission board. Let's have a look then. Very low, low. I don't think I'm going to accept very low ones. Let's see. 32,000. 100 credits. A tractor beam is required. That's fine, we have one. 2500 credits. So, some of these missions will change your standing with double jack thugs, which is one of the factions. Others will not. Average. This one pays better. We could just accept every single one. We can always drop them later. I think we'll accept all of them, with the exception of the very low one. Alright. Oh yeah, mission log is full. That's fine. Let's go then. We'll do the primary mission first, I think. Yep, are. we'll do the primary one first. Engines at maximum. Just to finish the favor for Tentacle Face. That's my official name for him. Tentacle Face. So, the booster has a meter in the top right corner. If you run out of power for the booster, the cooldown is quite long. So, it's generally a good idea to keep at least some power on the meter for that. Then it will start recovering immediately. 
if you let it drop all the way to zero, there will be a cooldown time. Alright, let's go. It's not very far away. We'll do that first. We can check how far away the Still other missions are. Alright, let's keep going. Almost there. Oh, it's inside a nebula or something. Alright. A little bit too far away. Warp drive again. Let's just not crash into an asteroid. It's pretty bad for your health. So, the way combat works in the game is that you fire broadside. Which means you do it like this. You can hold right click to aim better. The longer you hold it, the better your aim is going to be. So that's the first one down. You can also switch to turrets, but there's not much point doing it right now. Yeah, yeah. Turrets lock onto target. They can be better if something is slightly further away. Yeah, that's turret combat. Sometimes the target will be too far away for broadsides. So then you can switch to turrets and control them manually. If you so desire. You can also control the turret behavior. I'm going in. Yeah, yeah, one more container. Where's the last container? Oh, we actually have some hostiles incoming, alright. We'll take care of that, that's fine. Get over here. He's on the other side of the asteroid. So let's wait for that. Should be easy enough to deal with that guy. So I can switch to a turret like so, and then I can aim it manually if I want to. It will lock onto target. I think broadsides will be better in this case. So back to broadsides. By default, the turrets will target at will target any hostile target, basically. But you can change their behavior. Right, let's focus on actually killing these guys. Come here. We also have flag cannons and we can fire them with shift. Let's not crash into an asteroid. That was a little bit close. I think it damaged us slightly. So I think there's one more container. Destroy ambushers. Didn't we just do exactly that? Depleted. Okay. Did we actually destroy everything already? Oh, there's one more guy. Alright. Let's handle him then. Get over here. So, all movement is in 2D, in case you haven't noticed already. You can't move in 3D. Which is... An interesting choice, but it works quite well, I have to say. Alright, looks like we are actually done. Or are we? Primary mission. Yep, let's go finish our primary mission then. Off we go. I should have done a scan, but... Next time. We finished our objective, that's the important part. Eli, yeah, let's not crash into an asteroid. Yep, warp inhibited. We'll have to go through the hard way. Is that enough? Maybe, maybe not. Yep, that's enough. Come on. Warp speed. No, apparently that's not enough. Go, go. We are almost there. I'll probably do a few initial primary missions and then focus on side missions. Because that's what the game is really about. It's a sandbox game. You can follow the main quest, although you will eventually run into the problem of having to upgrade your ship before you can continue the main story. Still, the biggest strength of the game is its open world sandbox nature. That's what it is. Alright, so visit the bar and let's have a chat with Tentacle Face. Favor's done. Now it's 
Time for you to hold up to your end. Partner? Sounds shady. Activities. I see where this is going. I know she was hell of a trader and made a lot of money out here on the frontier. So she was a smuggler, basically. And her friend moved the goods for her. Alright, we'll check it out. So... I don't think we can accept any more missions, can we? Yep, mission log full. Very high, yeah, I don't think we'll be doing that one just yet. Probably not. So, let's go do a side mission this time. What's the closest mission at the moment? If it's the primary, I'll do something else. Yeah, that's the primary mission. I don't really want to do that. But it's so close, let's just do it anyway. Come on, let's go. Engage warp speed. And off we go. So the plan is to save some decent amount of money and then buy actual good upgrades. I don't want to spend money for tiny upgrades. I'd rather just save up for bigger ones. Alright, threat level high. I don't think we want to be fighting these guys. Threat level high is generally bad news. But I can maybe show you how the deflector works if they fire any missiles at us. So I can basically hold space and activate the deflector shield, but I cannot fire while using the deflector shield. Gunship. Come on. I'm not sure if we're doing damage. We need to bring down their shields first. Let's target the smaller ones and then the bigger gunship. We might have to jump away. We'll see how it goes. We aren't really hitting them. Oh, okay, it's taking damage. Come on, bring it down. Nice, the gunship is down. Do they have any capital ships around here? I don't think so. Why was threat level high? From my experience so far, threat level high at the start usually means there's some kind of bigger ship around. That might have been the gunship, who knows. If it's just these small fighters left, we can probably handle that. Come on. I think we need to be a little bit closer. There's a bomber. Let's bring down the bomber because it can fire missiles. And these are pretty dangerous. Can we use the afterburner? Are they actually getting away? I think they are trying to get away. Hey, we already killed the gunships, so... I want to finish them off. Since we already got started on that. Right, let's aim a little bit better here. Like this. Red level normal, alright. So that means we're doing well. They're getting away. We can kill this guy though. Come here. Yep, out of power. In the afterburner, that's fine. Another one bites the dust. Space dust. Okay, that's enough of these guys. We got some cargo. We got the tractor beam, so we'll pick that up. We should do a scan, actually. There's nothing around here, alright. So what's the closest mission now? Detected hostile, yeah, there are more hostiles around here. Not sure if we actually want to fight them. But this is the closest point of interest. This is where we wanted to be. Risk is low, so... Let's do that. Distress beacon. That usually means trouble. But I suppose we can check that out. I might regret doing that. But let's go check that out. It definitely means trouble. Which we can already see. We need to get there faster. If there are any capital ships... Yeah, I think... Yeah, I don't think we can handle these guys. Command ship. Yeah, we can handle these guys. We are out of here. 
We're not armed enough for these guys, definitely not. Sorry, bro. We're not going to help you this time around. We are out of here. Well, let's do that mission. That's actually a side mission. It's just that it's set as our primary point of interest. Another distress beacon. Sorry, bro. We have better things to do. And there's trouble on the left side. Yeah, we don't want to fight these guys, not really. Engage warp speed. We are almost there. This area is not very friendly. Alright. Threat level green. Should be a bit easier. That's actually a frigate. I think we can handle that. It was supposed to be low risk. I think we can handle a frigate though. Yeah, we need to be a bit closer than this. I have to say, combat is actually a lot of fun in this game. Definitely one of the strengths of the game so far. And I only played it for like one hour. We'll definitely get more systems. Different weapons, better weapons. Come on, he's almost down. There, he's down. That was easy enough. And we got some cargo. Contraband. Sure. Is that what we were supposed to pick up? Oh yeah. Incoming hail. Alright then. They probably want the contraband. Whoa, you mean this stuff is illegal? I have no idea. We could bribe them. I worked hard for this. There's no way you're taking it. Eh. I mean, I guess we could bribe them, but I'm not sure if that's worth 1200 credits. Let's just surrender the contraband, it's fine. Alright, so that's done. Do we want to go back? We are right here. There's that distress signal, I suppose we could check that out. But I'm not sure if we can handle it. No, it's gone now, alright. It's gone. We could go with the primary mission to track down Sandar. But there's no huge rush to do that. But you know what, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this first part of Rebel Galaxy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.